Hey guys, it's me Alan, and I'm back, and we got news. Alex Bowman to the 48, let's fucking go! I knew it! I freaking called this shit! Alright, now originally I had said, you know, I made a video, you know, talking about Bo Wallace, the possibility of him coming over, Bowman to the 48, Bowman to the 88, sponsorship and all that involving him, you know, and William Byron because of the Hurt situation and the Liberty University situation. I was wrong with Boa coming over because he's going to be driving for, you know, for Danny Hamlin and for Michael Jordan. But I was correct about Alex Bowman going to the 48. So I'll take that W any day of the week. Hell fucking yes. This, honest to God, Alex Bowman needed this because. The he fucking deserves it. The dude's busted his ass. He yo he got handpicked by Dale Jr. to sub for him alongside Jeff Gordon just a few years ago. Plucked out of backmarker rides, you know, almost won Phoenix in Dale Jr.'s car that one time. If not for the fact that he went a little too hot into turn one, which is now you know turn three, because this was under the old configuration for Phoenix. And, of course, accidentally turned out uh, Matt Kenseth, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway. <laughs> I, and, the alright, now, I will, I do need to acknowledge uh, the passing of Eddie Van Halen. Um, that, literally, that news came out minutes before the Alex Bauman news came out. So, uh, R.I.P. Eddie. Um, I offer my condolences to the family. Um, and to the whole rock and roll community as a whole, um, we lost a great one. Uh, he was only 65 years old, uh, died of cancer. Uh, I don't know what kind, but um, it was men cancer was mentioned. Um, so again, RIP Eddie. Uh, I know a lot of fans are going to be heartbroken about that. But at the same time, we got Alex Bowman to the 48. I am so fucking happy. He fucking deserves it. I mean, he, literally. So he goes from driving Dale Jr.'s car to now he's going to be driving Jimmy Johnson's car, which Jeff Gordon's involved in, or whatever. Like, how can you... Like, you can't script this any better. I mean, 2020's been so unscripted because of all the shit that's happened this year. But you honestly could not script this any better. Now, the real question is, is what's going to happen with the 88? Honestly, I want to say Kyle Larson's going to go to the 88. I got Discord in the background, so ignore the beeps. Um, but the thing is, because of the sponsorship issues, I just don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, now Kyle Larson, he uh, released um, a statement on his website Um you know, regard reflecting on everything he's been through the last several months um, after what had happened. Um, if I can find that, I will link that in the description below if you haven't seen it already. But with that being said, um, just from a sponsorship standpoint, I don't know if the 88 is going to stick around. Um, I'm wondering if Hendrick's going to shut that down and that sponsors, whatever sponsorships were with that car are going to go over to Al uh, to William Byron. Um, again, with Hertz pulling out um, because they went bankrupt, and also the Liberty University situation because of the fact that um, Liberty uh, has their scandal that's going on, and not to mention that Exalta, I think, is um, scaling back a bit on their sponsorship, so Byron's going to need it. Um, so you have Cincinnati and Acronis um, and a few others, assuming they all come back, all the sponsorships come back next year and beyond. Um, but Again, there's a lot of things in a short period of time. So again, um, R.I.P. Eddie Van Halen, uh, you will be missed. Um, congratulations, Alex Bowman, on uh, getting the 48 ride. And as far as the 88 and Kyle Larson and all this other NASCAR news that's forthcoming, um, we'll just see what happens. But you know, to all the fans out there who are waiting for the news to come out over who is going to replace Jimmy Johnson next year, we finally got it. The big news that we've all been wanting and waiting for. And we finally got it. Alex Bowman 
will be driving the 48 car for Hendrick Motorsports in 2021. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. And Jimmy, please, do us all a favor. Please, win one of these final five or six races we got left. Please. <laughs> I want to see it, man. I really do. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace! Oh yeah.